Yo, 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 let's do the Lewis structure of boron trifluoride, or BF3. Step one is to count your valence electrons. This valence means outer shell. For boron, it's one, two, three electrons. Let me write that down. Three electrons for the boron. And there are three fluorines. Each fluorine brings one, two, three, four, five, six, seven electrons with it. It gives me 21 with the extra three gives me 24 total valence electrons. All right, well, I'm gonna put the boron in the center and I'm gonna put three fluorines around it. Bam, bam, bam. I personally like to put single bonds connecting the central atom to each of the outer atoms first. Two, four, six electrons taken care of. And then I like to fill the octets of my outer atoms next. This is eight, 10, 12 total electrons, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. There you go. Now some people might tell you that the octet rule means the boron needs to have eight electrons around it and it currently only has six. Those people are forgetting that boron is an exception to the octet rule. Boron is perfectly happy with just three bonds to it. It's the way it goes. This is the valid Lewis structure. It's trigonal planar, sp2 hybridized. If you don't know what I said right there, well then you don't have to know it probably. This is it, we're done. Best of luck.